From the city beautiful Chicago, Illinois, Comcast Sportsnet presents White Sox Baseball. It's Paul Canerco, A.J. Pierzynski, Johnny Danks in the Sox as they get set to butt heads with Billy Butler and the red-hot Kansas City Royals. Hi, everybody, and welcome. I'm Ken Harrelson with Steve Stone as we get set to bring you game two of this three-game set. In the opener last night, things didn't go too well. We got beat 11-1. to one. They had 18 hits. We had two. So the Sox now two and a half games back of Cleveland in the race for a second. And tonight, trying to get back in that race with Johnny Danks. Johnny Danks is 7-12, and 12, but lifetime against Kansas City, he's 4-0. and 0. So he's thrown the ball very well against him, including in Kansas City. Everett Tiefer goes to the mound, a young left-hander who we saw in Kansas City, and he threw the ball very well. He's 2-0 this year with an ERA below 2. He's not overpowering, but he is deceptive. We'll see how we deal with him tonight. But the one thing we have to deal with, let's keep them out of the teens and hits. This team is hitting everything in sight. All right, sit back, relax, and strap it down. White Sox baseball coming your way. Go White Sox. White Sox Baseball on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you in part by your Chicago area and Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. 75 years being right here in Illinois means no one's closer to your wellness, experience, wellness everywhere. Subway. Every day at Subway, choose from many delicious regular footlong subs for just $5. Subway. Eat fresh. Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or go to shophonda.com and find great values on a new Honda. AT&T U-verse. Find out more of what's possible at att.com. AT&T. Rethink possible. And by United. Proud to fly the Chicago White Sox.
Xfinity On Demand, only from Comcast. Don't miss the action. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. It's turning into a beautiful night here in Chicago. 63 degrees at game time. There was a lot of rain earlier, but none in evidence now. Let's take a look at how Ned Yost is going to line up his red-hot Kansas City Royals. Lorenzo Cain leading it off. Then it's Cabrera, Butler. The youngster Hosmer, who's just been great this year with Frank Kaur, Perez, Mustakis, Giovatella, and Escobar at shortstop and hitting nine. The degree defensive setup and how they'll line up behind Johnny Danks, Pierre Rios, and Viciedo left to right with Morel, Ramirez, Beckham, and Conerco. A.J. Pierzynski behind the plate and Alexis pursuing perfection starting pitcher is Johnny Danks. Thanks looking for win number eight. He's 4 0 lifetime against these Royals, including pretty decent performance in Kansas City. And there you look at the overall numbers. And hopefully he'll throw a good one tonight. Follow all of tonight's stats and info in real time with White Sox in game live only at CSNChicago.com. Brought to you by The Great Escape. So they're throwing the ball around the infield. We're ready to play baseball, and I'm ready to throw it over to my play-by-play -play partner, Ken Harrelson. All right, Steve, thank you very much. And once again, good evening, everyone, and welcome to White Sox Baseball from beautiful U.S. Cellular Field. So happy you could join us for game two of this three-game set as we try to do something against these red-hot Royals. Against us, they are red-hot. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a strike. Lorenzo Cain, 25-year-old center fielder. Down in Omaha was hitting at 312 with that ball into left field. And that's out number one. Kane last night was two for five. Royals come in hitting at 276 as a club with a 4.46 team ERA. Seemingly against us, they're hitting 476. It does. It really does. Well, in their last five games against us, they have 16 hits, 11 hits, 18 hits, 15 hits, and 18 hits. Hasn't been good. Melky Cabrera very quickly two down. The umpires for the game tonight. Manny Gonzalez behind the plate. Jerry Meals the crew chief is at first. C.B. Buckner is at second and Dan Iasonia is at third. Indians won the first game of their split double header with Minnesota eight to two. Find ourselves three games back. Of the tribe as they start their second game against the Twins. Billy Butler. First pitch strike. Butler at 293, 19 homers and 93 driven in. Billy on a six game hitting streak. They got a lot of guys on. Cabrera on a five game hitting streak. Van Coor on an eight. Perez on a four. Mustakas on an 11. Well, this time of night, seemingly the hitters probably have a disadvantage. I don't think right now they're seeing the ball all that well this time of year with the game starting around 6 o'clock. So you want to work quickly, get as many innings as you can in early. Well, Danks will work quickly. He gone. And that's a quick one, two, three, top of the first.
Jean Pierre leading off. Then it's going to be Ramirez. Paul Conerco hit his 31st home run last night. AJ's hitting cleanup with Rios, Dunn, DeCiedo, Morell, and Gordon Beckham playing second and hitting ninth. The degree defensive setup and now the lineup behind Tiford, Cabrera, Kane, and Frank Poor left to right with Mustakis, Escobar, Giovatella, Hosmer, and Perez behind the plate. And the Lexus pursuing perfection starting pitcher is Everett Tiford. He's 2 0, the ERA 2 and a half, throwing the ball pretty well. Left handers have done absolutely nothing with them. Right handers have been okay. He throws straight over the top, a little bit deceptive. He's not a very large left hander, but. He was pretty tough against us in Kansas City. He threw the ball well. Yep. Very well. He's six feet tall, 165 pounds, 27 year old left hander of Alpharetta, Georgia. Before we show you our picks to click, you at home select yours. Takes low downstairs. Juan comes in hitting at 283. Two homers and 49 driven in. 0 for 4 last night. And here's a hard hit on Hopper. Very talented. Alcides Escobar. This is Star Wars night here, and so you see Yoda hitching a ride on Juan Pierre's back. Got a few stormtroopers here in the house. It would be especially good in the middle of the summertime. Yeah. There's a little looper. And look at the play by Johnny Givatello. Beautiful catch. Going full speed away from home plate. Well, Frank Coor, even though he plays shallow, would have no chance to get this one. Givatello catches it in the webbing of the glove and is able to secure it. Well, that is a good play. Two down, and that'll bring up Pauly. Pauly hitting his 302, 31 homers, 104 driven in. Our lone run last night was his 396th homer. And he had just missed one in his first at bat. Ball hit hard, and if you missed that game last night. Whew. RBI number 104. No doubt it. What a year he's had in any category you wish to mention. Well, the the thing that just absolutely stuns me. We know he's a terrific first baseman. That's that's we know that. Got great hands over there. The only thing he doesn't have is a huge amount of range. But the thing for him to do what he's done in this lineup with no protection all year long has just been it just stuns me. It really does. There's also another factor is this performance is reminiscent of the third year of the three year not the first year of the three. No that didn't amaze me at all. He's going to play as hard. He's going to play as hard for the minimum salary as he does for the money he makes. Doesn't matter. No it doesn't matter. He's one of those guys. Some guys are not like that. Most guys are not like that but he is not one. One. Got him. So he is called out. And that's a one, two, three inning for Tiefer.
And there it is graphically. Sakis Hosmer, Frank Gore, Butler, Cabrera, and Alex Gordon, who's not playing. Teams hitting a robust 381 over the last nine games, many of them against us, so it has not been pleasant. As Hosmer gets jammed, pops it up. One pitch, one out. Well, hitting is contagious. All fans know that. In a positive way or a negative way. And unfortunately, ours has been negative this year. With the exception of Canerco. Jeff Francoeur. What a year this guy's had. He's becoming one of my favorite players to watch play. Especially defense. Brand at 286, 20 homers, 87 driven in. He has 47 doubles, four triples, 22 stolen bases, and he plays as good a right field as you're ever going to see. With a very strong and accurate arm. And if you're counting strength and accuracy, he probably has the best right fielder's arm in the American League. And he's been just an outstanding season. He go. You're going to see a lot of these Royals certainly, but most of the White Sox too, swinging very early in the count. Right now they're just not picking up the baseball all that well, which is much to the advantage of the pitchers, and they're very happy about it. The better the pitcher, the earlier in the count you better be swinging, because you get against good pitching and you pit no two, you're going to go for four. That's one of the most overused phrases in baseball that is absolutely asinine. We want you to take pitchers deep into the count. Be, be patient. <laughs> well, <laughs> just, it's all right to be patient, but you don't want to take pitchers deep into account. Meanwhile, six up, six down. Mangio, our director and the crew, Alex Rios, Steve, Brent Morell, and Terry Hanley, Mike Williams, Roger Clare, Eric, all the great guys out at Bowling Book. We're going to go with the tax. But, got my new sunglasses. These things get lighter at night, yes. and darker in the day. It can't be that. Tracy Williams. So here is AJ. AJ at 287, eight homers and 47 driven in. Want to know the count? AJ 0 for 3 last night. Fox hitting at 253.
with a 4.15 ERA. There's a bullet. So the first hit of the ball game, first base runner of the game. Fastball right down the middle. And AJ bidding to get that batting average up above 290. Here's Rios. Alex at 224, 12 homers, 42 knocked in. He is one for three against Tifa. And that one hit was a home run in Kansas City. Cardinals beat the Cubs today, two to one. Cardinals hanging in there. Got a full game off the Braves lead. That ball hit hard. Stay in the air. It will. You can put it on the board. Yes. A rocket up bullet. Down here off the bat of Alex Rios. And the Sox lead it. Two nothing. Thirteenth home run, RBIs forty three and forty four. A forward home run replay. This ball looks like a cutter that doesn't cut. And a line drive rocket into the bullpen. First pitch strike to Adam. Adam hitting at 163, 11 homers and 42 knocked in. Drop down. And of course, with that home run by Rios, the Alex Nellius family will donate $100 to White Sox charities for every Sox home hit throughout the course of the season. That is number 150, so $15,000 donated by Alex Snellius in loving memory of Ursula. And Alex, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Count hangs at one and two. Good check. Full count. And that's ball four. So the single, the homer, the walk, and that'll bring up Vicieto. Thanks, hitting at 271 with a homer and five driven in. Cardinals now two games back. And race for the wild card. That's up high. Big rip. Yankees beat the Red Sox 9 to 1, but Toronto leading Tampa Bay 2 0. Top of the first down in St. Pete. Steeford had a decent straight change in Kansas City. We've seen it just once tonight. There's a shot. So two on, still nobody out. And that'll bring up Brent Morrell.
Perez going out to talk with Tiford. Probably trying to suggest to get the ball down somewhat. Field for the most part straight up. Vancouver short in right field, but there's a big gap in right center. As Grant was trying to hit it. Vancouver is playing very shallow again. He always right? does. Always does. We haven't seen one ball hit over his head yet. Nope. Not yet. One and one to count to Brent. Back him on deck. Gets jammed. To count one and two. Month of August, not much. Month of September, very good. Well, that's another area Joe Creedy was very proficient in the month of September. Like Joe, year in and year out, was our best September hitter. Well, and of course, Joe will be at Sox Fest. It's January 27th, 8th, and 9th. Palmer House Hilton. So make your plans to be with us. That's another souvenir. Two in, two on, two and two the count. Pretty good pitch to hit right there and couldn't do anything with it. And while we have a moment as you look at this last pitch. Our Bank of America pitch tracks will show you one that is high but has part of the zone. And another souvenir. We'll sound a big shout out, White Sox shout out to Jim, Kathy, Jeff, Canatero out in Seattle, Washington, along with our buddy Jimmy Olson watching in tonight. Full count. And that's ball four that will load him up. I'm going to bring Bob McClure out from the dugout. Wants to have a quick word with Everett Tiford, who is in danger of letting this one slip away in the second inning, especially the way Johnny Danks is throwing the ball. Well, we have this moment looking for a place to watch the Bears Packers game tomorrow. Welcome to Bacardi at the park. Sox play at home at 1 p.m. and after 2:30, parking is free in Lot B. So go to Bacardi at the park. Dot com for more information, and that's right across the street. Right here at U.S. Cellular Field. So here's Beckham. Hitting at 228, nine homers and 43 knocked in. 
Ward with a chance to work on those 43 runs batted in and improve on that. Breaking ball strike. Ditto. Doubled him up. Nice stop by Perez. I'm not sure he got as much of a glove on it as he did a shin guard. It was exactly the shin guard. No glove. It's like a good hockey goal. Kept it in front of him, and nobody scored. The one-two. Chops that breaking ball foul. Another finals. Texas beat Seattle seven to three. Down in Arlington. Mets over the Phillies two one. At City Park. Washington nasty Nats beat Atlanta four to one. Taste a bad one and that's out number one. Got a report on Gordon. If you get him down in the count, throw some high heat. That ball is way up and out of the zone. That'll bring up one Pierre, who grounded out hard too. Now, Cedis Escobar. Breaking ball low and away. Count two and zero. Oh. So he's got the catbird seat. One line drive. Outfield shallow swung around to the left. A little high. Three balls and a strike. And that's ball four. It is three nothing. Third walk of the inning. RBI number 50 for Juan Pierre. That'll bring up Alexei. Hit a little looper in the short right field that Johnny Giovatella went back and made a very fine catch on. Huge gap out there in right center. Count evens at one. This is the 17th meeting of the year between these two teams. In the first 16, we have won six. That ball hit hard. Cabrera's right there. 
Here comes the throw. He can throw. Tanks is safe and it's 4 0. Just a bullet off the bat of Alexei. And a good job of getting back to make the tag by the Seattle. RBI number 69, it's a rolling breaking ball. And Cabrera's got a very strong, accurate arm. No chance, however, to get Viciato. A lot of times, especially a young player on a line drive like that, they have a tendency to get frozen for just a second rather than get back and tag. So here's Pauly. Sox bat around here in the second. Pauly called out on strikes last inning, a pitch that he didn't particularly care for. Inside one and oh. Count evens at one. Everett Tiford over the last four games given up just one earned run. But tonight, a completely different story. Control has done him in. He's fallen behind. He's gotten the ball up. He's walked a couple. It's cost him four baggers so far. Polly with the advantage two and one. A little string on him right there. Nate Adcock throwing in the bullpen. Two on, two out, two balls, two strikes. And that ball hit high and deep. Stretch. Kane is back right in front of the track. Pulls it in, and that'll retire the side. But the Sox put a crooked number up on that board. We'll go to the third leading for nothing. Do the perfect match promise. Bring home the big TV of your dreams and satisfaction is guaranteed. Best Buy, you can't beat that. They sleeve them and all the terrific folks at Best Buy.
0 2 the count to Mike Mustakas hitting a 259 four homers and 29 driven in. Johnny is very aggressive tonight throwing just about everything in the zone looks like he's got a whole lot of confidence in his stuff and it's been very good to this point. He gone. Ah, breaking ball. Third strikeout for Danks. And he's retired seven in a row. So here's Giafatella, 24 year old. Second baseman. Takes first pitch strike. Givatella, 5'8, 185 pounds out of Harahan, Harahan, Louisiana. And the offensive player of the year this year in their minor league system. Which is why he's gotten his opportunity up here. Two and two the count. It's full. That change up missed. Chris gets. Chris was having a decent year. He go. Four strikeouts. All four of them of the swinging variety. Good straight chain. Perfect location. Two on sliders and two on changeups. So here's Escobar. Alcides hitting at 253, four homers and 45 knocked in. A chopper three hopper. Nice pick by Paulie. That is nine up, nine down, retired by Johnny Depp. Question. 
We're the four players in Royals history with 20 home runs and 20 steals in a season. You think about that? We'll get back to you a little later in the game with the answer. And fans, you can join White Sox fan favorite Joe Creedy. Joe Creedy and current and former team members of Sox Fest 2012. That's January 27th, 8th, and 9th at the Palmer House Hilton. Sox Fest 2012 hotel packages and weekend passes are on sale right now exclusively at WhiteSox.com. So make your reservations. You don't want to miss that. Four nothing Sox here in the bottom of the third. Here's a man who started off that four run second with a hard single to right field. AJ. Patella. It's time now for our Xfinity high speed action replay. Line drive home run. Alex Rios is 13th. This got out of here in a hurry. I put the Sox on top two to nothing to key a four run inning. First pitch strike. And there's another solid single. It'll bring up Adam. He walked and scored last inning. Sox batted around. Three walks by Tiford really helped in that inning. Tampa Bay is tied up Toronto at two. That game in the bottom of the second. That's a huge game for Tampa Bay, knowing that Boston has already lost. It's a must win. They got to. They've got to win this ball game. They won't any chance. Boston's trying to give it to them. <laughs> They're doing a good job, but and they have a double hitter tomorrow with the Yankees. That's what it looks like right now. Three games back in the loss column. Three and one account to die. Derek Jeter had a three run homer in that game. Got a high fastball up out over the plate from John Lester and put it in those right center field bleachers. Full count. Two down, three strikeouts for Tiford, and it'll bring up Tanks, who hit a vicious single in the left field and scored last inning. That ball is going foul, and it's going to be in the seats. Finale tomorrow afternoon. The first
first 20,000 fans at 1 o'clock against these Royals will receive a White Sox knit hat. Now, the thing here is look at the hat, not the holder. It's a handsome hat. And a handsome holder. Look. For tickets, call 866 Sox Game <laughs> or visit WhiteSox.com. Just the hat, not the holder. First uh, 20,000 fans. For you folks who are going to be here January, February, or coming to Sox Fest, it's a great hat to wear. It's a nice knit hat. Two out, the ball, two strikes to Tanks. And that'll do it. Four strikeouts now for Tiffany. And we'll go to the fourth leading by four. from Taco Bell. Open 1 a.m. or later. Star Wars night. The dark side. As Lorenzo Cain will lead it off. He went out to left field leading off the ball game. There's a strike. They even accounted one. 4-4-0 four, four, no for our guys. No runs, no hits, no errors for their guys. One and two. Well, John's got good rhythm and thrown just about everything over the plate. He gone. Change up. Five strikeouts. I don't think Lorenzo's going to hit many of those change ups. There's a chain. There's a slider. There's a slider. There's a chain. And one more chain for good measure. 10 straight retired, five on strikes. Strike one to Cabrera. It grounded out softly to Morella third. Very quickly the count, nothing in two. Career against the Royals. John's been real good. He's sawing through this lineup here tonight. Just off the corner. Now a little soft pop up. So two down. Doc Edwards shot. 
With two out, nobody on. That'll bring up Billy Butler. Struck out on the changeup. Breaking ball down. And that is sliced foul. Baltimore leading the Tigers 5 0, bottom of the third at Comerica Park. One and two the count. Verlander getting lit up there. That breaking pitch foul back. Verlander's gone three, giving up seven hits, five runs earned, one walk, three strikeouts. Hasn't happened too many times to the big boy. Two home runs. One by Angle, one by Mark Reynolds. Reynolds is 37. <laughs> I was saying Mark Reynolds having a nice year. A lot of strikeouts, but he will hit a lot of home runs. You know what you're getting when you get him. Yep. He's a poster child for swing hard in case you hit it. Backhanded, nice play. Nice throw. So that is 12 up, 12 down for Danks. Go to Park Fire Revolution tomorrow at three only on Comcast Sportsnet, and that is a fan's best friend. Bottom of the fourth, Morrell, Beckham, and Juan Pierre. Everett Tiefer out of Alpharetta, Georgia. Six feet tall, 165 pounds. Oh. One and one account. Grant drew a walk in the second inning. If you're just turning in, when the Sox scored all four runs. Two and one. All right, hit but foul. And a reminder our brand new state of the art team store, Chicago Sports Depot, will be open in November. 
featuring all pro sports teams, Big Ten and a college corner. Chicago Sports Depot has a perfect gift for the sports family fan in your family. 15,000 square feet and 72 monitors will make a great adventure and plenty of holiday gifts. Visit WhiteSox.com for more information on Chicago Sports Depot. That ball gone. You can put it on the ball. Yes. Way back. Number 10 for Brent. And it is 5 0. 40th driven in. And Morell is having some September. Ford home run replay. High fastball. Deford does not have enough on it to continue to stay up there. And that ball long gone. Beckham. And that's hit hard. Stay fair. It won't. That was only one thing that a guy can have. Than a better, being known as a better September hitter. And that's being a better October here. If you get a chance to play there, that's pretty good. The best September hitter I ever saw were two guys Carl Yastrzemski and Harmon Killebrew. That's foul back in count one and two. And it didn't make any difference who was pitching. That's top foul. One and two the count. Five, five, and oh for us. No runs, no hits, no errors for them. Breaking ball high. Cabrera got the bead. One out. Royals bullpen up once again. As Tiford has been touched up for a five spot. Gotta bring up one. He grounded to short, leading off the bottom of the first, then in the second, with the bases loaded, drew a walk, picking up his 50th RBI. First pitch strike. It's Nate Adcock again. He should be pretty loose. Curveball. One and one. Another souvenir. That tomorrow, besides being that knit hat to the first 20,000 fans, Gavin Floyd on the bump against Luis Mendoza. And that game will be over WGN if you can't make it to the park. It's jammed, and that's going to be a base hit. Mustakis went as far to his left as he could. Once he didn't get it, even the bare hand heroics of Alcides Escobar had no chance to get one at first. Here's Alexei. 
looped out to Givatello, who made a terrific catch on him, and then hit a rocket for a sacrifice fly in the second. Pops him up. Stockus. That one was way up there. Stockus had to keep drifting and drifting. Almost overran it. Here's Pauly. 0 for 2 last time with a couple guys on. Went out deep to right center field. Pretty good lead. And Royal singing the same thing. Cleveland beat Minnesota 8 to 2 in game one of that doubleheader. Day nighter, and Minnesota leading 3 0, bottom of the fourth in game two. There he goes. Mustakas got time. And that'll retire the side. But the tenth homer of the year hit by Brent Morrell. And we lead it 5 0. First pitch strike to Eric Hosmer, who popped up to Alexei. Got jammed. And Johnny's got plenty of time. Takes it, makes it. One out. Let's take a look at our AT&T trivia question. Who are the four players in Royals history with 20 home runs and 20 steals in a season? And the answer, Amos Otis, Bo Jackson, Carlos Beltran, and 
None other than Jeff Francoeur. Who's. There he is. And he pops this pitch up. Paulie. Two down. And you can text Subway to 29653. And if you are the 500 texter, you could win five $5 foot long subs from Subway. Here's Perez. Salvador went out to Beckham. He hit the ball awfully hard his first time up. Hitting 336. Is 21 years old. Valencia, Venezuela. That's some great water skiing right outside of Valencia. We got a piece of Manny Gonzalez. I don't think he's thinking about water skiing right now. He's Venezuelan. He should know about it. He might know about it, but right now it's a game of adjustment. And he's going to have to adjust. They gave him, give him a little time to re regroup. Have the bell unrung. That ball hit hard. So you can cancel a post game show. That's the first hit, the first runner to reach base. Perez hit a rocket right at Beckham the first time up, and the second time up, that changeup is up a lot higher than John wanted it. Mustakas. That's can of corn. So he gives up the first hit. And we're halfway home, leading 5 0. As we get set to go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And for the third straight inning, AJ will lead it off. He led off the second with a hard single, and that started a four run second. He's one for two.
First pitch strike. Giants leading the D backs 1 0. Giants still hitting the top of the first. Gio Vitello. So for the second time, he gets AJ. And our congratulations certainly go out to the Diamondbacks for being the surprise team of 2011. Pretty amazing. Except when you consider that they're 48 and 28 at home. And just look at that lineup. I mean, if you look at that lineup and you say those guys have won 91 ball games, you'd have to say to yourself, no way. <laughs> I don't care how good their pitching is. Alex, he's now two for three, a two run homer and a hard single. That's it. The Diamondbacks, the National League West champions. Well, let's look at this lineup that they're running out there. Bloomquist at shortstop, Hill at second. Young, Chris Young in center. Upton's their star. He's not playing tonight, but he is the one one stud in that lineup. Stephen Drew was till he broke his ankle, and so he's not playing anymore. Goldschmidt at first base, Roberts, Ryan Roberts at third, Para in right field, Cal Gill in left, Blanco the catcher. Well, Miguel Montero is a regular <laughs> catcher, although <laughs> I, with all due respect to Henry Blanco, I like him as old as the next day. He's 90 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's great for a ball club. That's oh. He's going to play another 10 years. As that is high in the center field. Kane makes the call. And that's the one, two, three inning. We'll go to the six. It is five nothing. Good guys. Jays right here. Coverage begins at 6 30 with Sportsnet Central. White Sox Blue Jays Monday at 7 only on Comcast Sportsnet. Fans best friend. There's Blue Jays that are currently trailing Tampa Bay 3 to 2. They took a 2 to nothing lead. Tampa Bay has come back to lead them by a run. Jose Bautista hit the two run homer. It's 43rd. He's got it figured out. I would think so. Giovatella, Escobar, and Kane. Fakes the bunt. We're all playing back. Giovatella struck out on a changeup. I love stories like the D backs this year. That's just great. Everybody picking them for last place. And here they win the division. By plenty. I mean, they're going to win. They're up. Seven games. And Kennedy going, Ian Kennedy going for his 21st victory tonight. That's foul. 
That's why baseball is such a great sport. You got to play them. At 162, you're going to win 60 and you're going to lose 60. It's what you do to those other 42 that count. And boy, we did we ever blow our 42 games this year. <laughs> Here's our AT&T Universe multi-view. Literally giving you a shot of just about everything. That ball hit deep. Bear back. Back. And makes the catch. Yes, yes. sir. What a catch by Juan Pierre. They didn't call him out. Give a tell us at first. I'm pretty sure he's out. So he did not catch it. No, he apparently Giovatella didn't know that the ball stayed in the park. Juan goes up. He missed it. Looked like he caught it. But that's a very long single. Now hit the dirt. So one of the longest singles of the season. Well, Givatella thought he caught it. But one of the shortest guys <laughs> in the game. How can a guy that short hit the longest single of the season? Escobar can't get it. He got it out to his counterpart, Alexei. Another reason why baseball to me is the best game going. They come in all sizes and shapes. Nice pickup by AJ. Keeping the double play in order. There he goes. He gone. So Giovatella picks up his fifth stolen base. He's five for seven in that category. That doesn't even look at him. Throws a cutter inside. Takes down Escobar. And here's Lorenzo Kane who's gone out to left and struck out on a change up. Guess. Baseball's even had a guy that was. No other sport can say that. Three feet seven inches. Eddie Goodell. Eddie Goodell. Three feet seven inches. Weighed 65 pounds. Played in a major league baseball game. That's a foul ball. What was his number? One half or one quarter? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure it was one of those. Ah, uh, that was something. One eighth was his jersey number. It was a fraction of some sort. No two pitch. Close didn't get it. Two balls, two strikes to the 24 year old talented shortstop. 
Check that. This is Kane. And a full count now to Lorenzo. Well, Johnny knows if he can get one more straight change over the plate. He's probably going to get him out. But he missed with the last one. AJ is not averse to double him up. Even if he missed. Cues it. Just barely caught it off the end of the bat. It was a straight chain. Twenty five years old. Lorenzo Kane. 312, 16 homers, 81 knocked in this year at Omaha. Outfield, straight up, spread out. Sox trying to even up this series at a game of peace. That change up very high. So the first walk issued by Danks. And that'll bring up Cabrera, who has bounced to third and did a little soft pop up to third. Next pitch will be number 69 for Johnny. Danks making his 27th start. Two complete games this year, one shutout. Here's our United Airlines leaders of the game, and it is Melky Cabrera. What a year it's been for him. 197 hits, fourth in the American League. Make it 198. Okay. He's going to score from first as Giovatella crosses the plate, and it's a 5 2 ball game. And another double. For Royals outfielder. RBI is 86 and 87. That was a cutter out away. And Melky crushed him. Cabrera has 44. Francoeur. 47. Butler. He's got 41. And Gordon has and Gordon. Alex has 45. Fourth team in the history of baseball to have four guys with 40 or more doubles. First team in history of Major League Baseball to have three outfielders with 40 or more doubles. Butler has struck out, and then Gordon Beckham made a good play on him as that pitch is out of play right side. Five, six, and oh for us, two, three, and oh for them. That change up. Perfect spot. Royals against us are like sharks smelling blood. Things can be going along. We can have a comfortable lead. All of a sudden, here they come. This team will not quit. At least against us. I'm sure there's somebody in this league that they pack it in against. But not against us. And that's the way it's been for the last three years. As I say, we just caught them at the wrong time, which is basically any time we catch them. That is such a huge part of a team's success throughout the season. When you can. Now who you play is when you play them. So they're 19 under. Although they've won eight of their last 10, so things have gotten a whole lot better for them. And once again, the 0-2. He gone. Beauty. Down and in. Seventh strikeout. 
for Johnny Danks. Second time he's gone with the slider down and in to Butler. Yeah, if you catch second division teams at the wrong time, they're going to beat you. And there's a base hit right off the end of the bat. So Cabrera, he's going to score. And it's a 5 3 ball game. If you throw that first pitch in the neighborhood of the plate to Hosmer, he's swinging. Our man number 77. Caught this one off the end of the bat. And it's a two run game. And there's plenty of time left. Boy, these guys have been hammering the baseball. That's one of the few soft base hits they've had against us in the last five games. Grand Coeur has struck out and popped up to Canerco. Can't get it. No two pitch. Nope. Hosmer has 11 stolen bases, 16 attempts. And that's foul down. And Mike Leary, our producer, found this for you. Eddie Goodell. Looks like that pitch was a little high and away. Three feet, seven inches, 65 pounds. A major league game. He gone. But they get right back into it. They come up with a three spot. It is 5-3 White Sox.
Cubs and Packers game on Bears Post Game Live. Bears Post Game Live, presented by the Illinois Back Institute. Post game press conferences, player interviews, and a full breakdown of all the action only on Bears Post Game Live tomorrow, immediately after the game on Comcast Sportsnet, fans' best friend. Blake Wood comes in in a game at 5 and 2, the ERA 368, on for the 54th time. So for Tiford, goes five innings, gives up five runs on six hits. He leaves trailing by a pair. There you look at the numbers. Here's Viciedo. Tanks is one for two. A single and a run scored. Hard single to left. There's a soft bouncer back to the pitcher. But come backer, one pitch, one out. Well, has walked. He's one for one. Walked in the second. And then leading off the fourth. Got a high fastball. Continued his tour in September. Eight home runs in September. That's top foul. We're going to show you once again that picture in case you weren't in the room. Ready Goodell. Eight feet seven inches tall in a Major League Baseball game. All sizes and shapes that come in baseball. Look at that. Wow. And the story that I heard was Bill Vick told him if he swung, he wouldn't get paid. I don't think he had any intentions of swinging. <laughs> <laughs> Back in those days, they had some guys, I don't care who it was, Eddie Goodell or their mom or grandma, they took a good swing, then knock them down. <laughs> the umpire had the outside chest protector, so he he couldn't see anything but the top of his head. There's a chopper, one hopper. Two down. And it'll bring it back him. Or no for two, a strikeout and a fly out to left. I'll never forget playing against early win first time. When I was a kid, former Sox right hander, Cleveland right hander, 300 game winner. Bobby Del Greco is our fifth outfielder and First time up against Wynn, I hit him. He had threw me as a high fastball, high slider pitcher, and I hit a high slider right back through the middle for a base hit. So when I get back to the dugout the next inning, Doug Greco comes over to me and says, Hawks, you better hang loose up there next time. So what are you talking about? He says, two things you don't do on Gus. You don't bunt on him, and you don't hit the ball back through the middle on him. I said, oh, that old man ain't going to do anything. Well, I went to play the next time, first pitch. My feet went straight up in the air, and I landed on my shoulders. That's how to play right side. He wants you to pull the ball. Don't hit it back through the <laughs> middle. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you can't believe after that how hard I tried not to hit the ball back <laughs> through the middle. What a great guy Gus was. He was part of just an unbelievable Cleveland Indians pitching staff. Yeah, 1954. One of the in history. The big four: Win, Lemon, Feller, and Garcia. 
Narleski was on that staff. And Mossy in the bullpen. Yeah. I used to love it when we played against Mossy when he was with the Tigers. Because he was the only guy in the league who had a nose bigger than mine. Well, he had that and he had Abe Lincoln ears. Yeah, he did. You could see his ears. <laughs> yes, he could. And that's ball four. So two out walk and that'll bring up Juan Pierre who's one for two with a bases loaded walk back in the second. Feel very short, swung very much around to the left. Five, six, and zero oh for us. Three, four, and zero oh for them here in the bottom of the six. And boys, it might behoove us to try to get a few more runs. Well, we do know one thing: you don't want a big secondary lead because Perez will think nothing about picking you off at first. That ball hit hard. Meanwhile, Giovatello's got him, and that'll retire the side. We're into the seventh. We lead it by two. Schedule. It's upcoming and remain. One more with Kansas City tomorrow afternoon. And then it's three more with the Toronto Blue Jays. And that's it for 2011. And there is that beautiful nip cap. That's tomorrow. First 20,000 fans will receive a beautiful white socks. Great logo. Nip cap. There you go. Softly hit. One pitch, one out. Salvador Perez now one for three. First 20,000 fans tomorrow. So for tickets called 866 Sox game. Here's Mustakas. On an 11 game hitting streak, he's 0 for 2. A strikeout and a fly out to center. Count evens at 1. That one went right into the Kansas City dugout. And that's popped up. Grant. Two down. There's a line on Johnny Danks. Eight strikeouts, just one walk. As he's getting ready to finish up seven innings of work.
Jim Attala started off that three run sixth. With a. Long single. High off the top of the left field wall. And now there's a little soft single. A short right. single. And if you miss that long single. From that angle, looks like he cut it. You would tell it. I can't believe it. Here's Escobar, grounded to short and struck out. Takes ball one, outfield. Straight up, spread out. We scored four in the second, one in the fourth. They scored three in the sixth. If you're just joining us. Evens account. Minnesota leading Cleveland six nothing in Game Two of that day night doubleheader. Indians won Game One eight to two. There he goes. Ball hit hard. Wentz got him. And that'll retire the side. Seventh inning stretch. Sox lead it five three. Four in the second, one in the fourth. They had three in the sixth. Alexei is 0 for 2 with a sacrifice fly. Takes ball one from Blake Wood. Gavin Floyd against Luis Mendoza tomorrow afternoon. So make your plans to be with us and be one of the first 20,000 to get that beautiful White Sox and hit hat. One pitch. Polly on deck and AJ in the hole. And a reminder you can lower your home electricity rate with Constellation Energy. Check your Sox game card for an additional 5% off their fixed price. 
Visit home.constellation.com today to learn what you can save. So lower your home electricity rate. Five, six, and zero oh for us. Three, five, and zero oh for them. Bobble, bobble, bobble. Still got it. Good recovery. Well, what a strong arm Escobar has normally. A shortstop bobbles the ball like that. You don't have much of a chance. It wasn't like you had some big donkey running down the line either. He has some pretty good speed. Escobar is just full of talent. He's going to be a good hitter. He's going to hit 10, 12 home runs a year. And the fact that he could stay with it and still get it over there in time is something. Yeah, he's going to be there in that uniform in that spot for a while. I would think so. So here's Polly. Polly over three. Get sawed off right there. Mustakas. Two down. And that'll bring up AJ. AJ started off that four run second with a line shot base hit to right field. First pitch strike. Rios on deck. And we have our final series of the season coming up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday against the Toronto Blue Jays and Jose Bautista with his 43rd home run tonight. Is that didn't take long. One, two, three, and we'll go to the eighth. Johnny Danks on the bump. He gave up three runs in the sixth. He's got the top of the order. Lorenzo Cain, Melky Cabrera, and Billy Butler. And just in case the bullpen is up and going. First pitch strike to the 25 year old outfielder who walked and scored back in the sixth. First time up. Went out softly to right field or to left field, I should say, and then struck out. A good change up in the fourth. 
Jesse Crane listening in the pen. Right at Alex, almost in his tracks. Well, we've seen him now. He was two for five last night. Double and infield single. So we've seen him nine at bats. I'll tell you, he doesn't look bad. He no. looked pretty good. Got a chance to be a good player. Yeah. And he's either going to be one of the guys or they're going to trade one of the guys to open up for him to get some pitching. I pop up, and that's going to be in the seats. No, but Lorenzo looks like he might be a player. Their young pitchers aren't quite ready yet. Their offense is ready. Offense can make them contenders. If they get decent pitching, they don't have to get great pitching. If they get decent pitching next year, they've got the best outfield in baseball. If they get decent pitching, they're going to be a contender. That's in the hole. Alexei. And Cabrera with another hit. He's now one away from 200. No, sir. This is a fun club to watch. Cabrera can stop from diving head first into first. He'll probably be around a while. And he probably get there a little faster too. There's no doubt about it. I don't know why guys continue to do it, but they do. And AJ's going out, I believe, on instructions from Ozzy to kill some time to let Crane get ready. I would think the crane is ready, but it was either my second or third year in baseball. It was either 17 or 18. We went to, we were down in spring training, and they showed us the difference. Running, they didn't hit, just start from home plate, no bat, run as hard as you could to first and go through the bag, okay, versus going there and sliding in. And going through the bag, you get there quicker. Well, you, what I always said was in the Olympics, if you could get there faster, and that's the fastest people in the world, they would all head first dive through the tape, and they don't. They lean through the tape. So Johnny Danks in his final start will depart. Big, nice round of applause for our young 26 year old South Pause. He pitched well tonight. And we'll be back. Simply log on to your computer and take a quick survey. And as a thank you, you'll have the chance to win an autographed White Sox player photo or two free tickets to an April or May game next season. So visit WhiteSox.com slash survey. Toyota call to the pen is Jesse Crane. He's eight and three. He's been a very busy man on for the 65th time. Terrific ERA of 238. 
He does inherit Cabrera at first base with a two run lead. Couldn't get that one. And the count on one. Butler's very happy to see Johnny Danks out of there. He wasn't able to get the ball out of the infield in three at bats. Close. Quickest right handed move in the league. Just one false step, the tag on the back, but the hand in. He has 20 stolen bases. Now we talked about it earlier. We'd have had those three outfielders, we'd have won this division, or if they'd have had our pitching staff, they'd have won the division. Two and one. Butler just 25 years old. Hard to believe he's been around a while. And he looked like a veteran when he came in. Had great, great knowledge of the strike zone. Lifetime against us. 288 with 13 homers and 58 RBIs. And that's in the center field. A good pitch by Jesse. Two down. Well, the first year or two for Butler, a lot of line drives, a lot of doubles. They didn't go out of the ballpark, hadn't quite figured it out yet. But as he's gotten older, Starting to hit the ball of the park more, and will continue to hit the ball out of the park more as Chris Sale will come into the game. So Jesse Crane will depart, and we'll be back. What a year he's had. Sale two and one ERA 263 on for the 56th time. And Ozzy brings him on to face one of their toughest, Eric Hosmer. Now, as far as hitting a home run, he is their toughest. Got 19 of them in just a short time he's been up here. So two out. 
Good speed at first. And they got it picked off. Oh boy, what a break. What a break. Don't have to face Hosmer as the tying run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth, leading 5 3. First. from Chuck and Bill. Let's go live to Ozzy's post game remarks. Don't miss Galaxy White Sox post game live immediately following the game on Comcast Sportsnet, fans' best friend. If you can get an out without making a pitch, that's the ideal for any reliever. So Chris Sale comes in and does just that. Pauly with a good angle. And they gun him down by plenty. You never take the bat out of your most dangerous home run hitter when you're two runs down and he's a tying run. Never. So here's Rios. He's two for three, a two run homer and a single. Takes first pitch strike. Well, it makes things a lot easier with Hosmer leading off, especially against Sale. It lessens that pucker factor <laughs> to a great degree. <laughs> no doubt. Cleveland was losing six to nothing in that second game. It's now six to five. They won't quit. Nope. They will not quit. Many actors got those guys playing 27 outs. Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay leading Toronto 3 2, top of the eighth, down in St. Pete. Two and two. Catch that one. That's going to the wall, so Alex now will pull up. Now he's going to give it a go. Here's the throw. Save. Nice. Second triple of the year. Drives this ball into right center field. And in this situation, with Kane getting to it, you're running on Giovatelli. Did he miss first? No, he didn't. Jerry Meals on that one all the way. Infield in. Field in. 
Breaking ball down and in. Nice and easy, big man. Just don't turn ahead of the battle. Takes it right there. 97. One and two. Diazzo on deck. And a full count. It's either going to be hard high or slow low. And the payoff pitch. Evan threw the bat away, but he's going to have to go and chase it. Yep. Break him all down and in. Slider down and in. Manny Gonzalez said, Yes, he did. Here comes Ned Yost. Yes, sir. It's going to hit for Viciato. Grant Morrell on deck. Coleman in the bullpen, and he's had a pretty good year for them. But he's going to stay in the bullpen at least for the moment. And once again, a reminder first 20,000 fans tomorrow at 1 o'clock will receive this beautiful White Sox mid hat. So for tickets, just call 866 Sox Game or visit WhiteSox.com. And that is a nice, nice mid hat. So they're going to put him on. Set up the double play for Morrell. Grant is one for two in the game, a walk, and then leading off the fourth inning. Here's what he did. Eighth in September and tenth on the year. Tampa Bay leading Toronto 3 2. Blue Jays hitting in the top of the eighth. That's down low. Sergio Santos starting to loosen in the pen.
was right above your head. Twenty one account. Five seven and zero oh for us. Three six and zero oh for them. We're trying to put another point on the board right here. That ball's crushed. He will get the run in a great, great job of defending himself right there by Blake Wood on a bullet off the bat of Morrell. Mercy. Meanwhile, it's 6 3. RBI number 41 is second of the night. I don't know how Wood got the glove up in time, but he did. Able to knock it down, deflected over to Giovatella. We can't get two. We get one. A three run game. So here's Beckham. There goes Brent. And the ball all the way back to the backstop. So he picks up his fifth stolen base. Even if Perez comes up with it. Which is well impossible when you look at that. But if he comes up with it, he's still not going to get Morell out. With the exception of Canerco, Brent Morell has been the best. He's covered the fastball better than anybody we have had. He, in order, has been Canerco, Morell, and AJ covering the fastball in September. And as we talked about so often, you can cover the fastball, you can play in the big leagues. You got a hamburger for your efforts that time. I got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fortunately, he didn't get the iPad. That's a big thing. <laughs> that's two in the same inning. One right above and the other one right over your head. That's the first time that's happened since, since we've been in this ballpark since 1990. Pretty amazing. Two in one inning. Yeah. <laughs> that one right underneath. Wait a second. Get a glove or something. <laughs> wow. Yeah, if we had that stocking cap, we could use that certainly. Pick him up. Gordon, two out, two balls, two strikes. Make that intentional walk. Full count. Vancouver very shallow in right field. Now they're going to have a little confab. And a reminder you can stop by the Comcast Fundamentals deck at USA to feel for the ultimate game day experience. Visit the Comcast dugout to see official White Sox equipment, take photos next to life size player cutouts, and listen to updates about the White Sox pitching staff on the Xfinity Voice dugout phone. All brought to you by the great folks at Comcast. That one 
and 97. Had a good pass at it just underneath. Got him. But Brent Morrell drives in his second run of the game. 41st of the season, and we lead it 6 3. Kevin Floyd trying to win his 13th game of the year and end above 500. Alejandro Diaz stays in the game in right field. Chris Sale, who came on for a pickoff, stays in the game to face Hosmer. But you would think Sergio would come in to face the two right handers, Francois and Perez. Cosmos one for three with an RBI. Yeah, that big sweeping breaking ball from Chris Sale. Cosmo hit one right off the end of the bat. Between third and short. No walks, come back and get him. Two and oh. There's the strike. And another one. Two and two. He gone. One out. But for a left-hander trying to hit that slider is a tough task. So that's going to be it for Chris Sale. He's going to depart. He got two outs. One on a pickoff. One on a sweeping slider. And there's two outs to go and Sergio Santos will come in the game to nail down number 30. We'll be back.
Sox at WhiteSox.com. Browse the largest selection of authentic team gear, including official caps, T-shirts, jerseys, collectibles, and more. Get your gear straight from the source. Shop WhiteSox.com. A Toyota call to the pen is Sergio Santos. Sergio looking for save number 30. Four and five this year. ERA 338 on for the 61st time. 88 strikeouts. And he's got two outs to get. And this one is in the books. Francourt takes ball one. He's 0 for 3 tonight. No walks. Come on, Serge. There's the strike. Twenty six thousand two hundred forty nine. And that's out of play. Right side. Disappearing slider. Set him up with a couple of fastballs, and then here it is. Close enough. Bank of America pitch tracks. See you later. Here's Salvador. Perez, one for three, had a hard single back in the fifth inning. That was the first hit with two out in the fifth inning that they got off Johnny Danks. He was perfect. Two four and two thirds. A couple of close pitches didn't get him. And the count two and zero. Oh. Come back and get him. There's one. Bottom of the eighth in Tampa Bay, three two Rays over Toronto. Six five, Minnesota leading Cleveland, bottom of the seventh in Cleveland. And this ball game is over. So Surge comes on, picks up his 30th save, nails it down for Johnny Danks, and Johnny Danks tonight was Johnny Danks. No, I thought he was terrific. He came out very much trusting his stuff. Got ahead of all of these Royals hitters, this team that had been so red hot against us. It just looked like Dex was in control, had the one tough inning. Outside of that, he was absolutely brilliant tonight, and then the bullpen made it hold up. Well, Johnny now 3-0 this year against Kansas City, 5-0 in his career. And let's check out our GMC player of the game. It is the 26-year-old South sending up his 54th career victory. Johnny Dykes, our GMC player of the game.
One thing about this Kansas City offense, it just goes to show you what a good changeup can do. Well, there's no doubt when you have one, and when John Danks has his, makes his cutter inside look better, makes that slider down and in look better, and then you throw the changeup away, and even good hitters can't wait back long enough, and that's why he fanned eight of them. And right now, let's go down to field level. Sarah Kusak here in front of the White Sox dugout with Brent Morell. Now, Brent, the first five months of the season, you have two home runs. This month, you have eight. You hit your eighth tonight. What's changed for you at the plate? I don't know, just feeling more comfortable uh, here in my first full year. Uh, you know, just understanding my swing a little bit better, feeling comfortable at the plate. And, uh, you know, just kind of letting it happen. That fourth inning, you, you take a fastball out. Has that been the pitch that you've been looking to jump on this month? Yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, what everybody's looking for. Just get ready to hit the fastball and kind of adjust from there and uh, luckily get one over the plate and put a good swing on it. And not only, you know, getting hits, but you're also just getting on base. First 90 games of the season, you walk four times. These last 32, you have 18 walks. What's been the key to, to your patience? Yeah, same thing. Just being more comfortable, being more selective up there. Uh, not trying to protect so much, uh, trying to drive the ball a little bit more and looking for a certain pitch, and uh, it's keeping me off all the bad ones. Frank, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. All right, nice, nice job, Sarah. So for my partner, Steve Stone, our director, Jim Angio, our producer, Mike Leary, our associate producer, Keon Dolashahi, our technical manager, Mark Harper, the executive producer, Jim Corno Jr., also for the mayor, Mean Joe Groove, and up here in the booth, Wayne Griffiths, Frank D'Amato, Jeff Hilbert. This is the Hawk. So long, everybody.